Good evening. I'm here speaking um, on behalf of that I'm an um, Ancaster well user. I have been for the past 20 years, 20 plus years. And I have some letters I want to read regarding the, uh, some people that I know that use the well. Um, this is I'm right. This is my letter. I'm writing to inform you that I disagree with the well shut down for four to six weeks. I am of Haudenosaunee descent and reside on the Six Nations on the, of the Grand River Reservation. I travel 30 minutes to get water from the well. I do not have access to clean water on the reserve. So I have chosen to get water from the Ancaster well for the past 20 plus years. As you may be aware, the well is within the Haldeman Track boundaries and sits on treaty land, the Nanfan Treaty. And I have a map here that I'll give to Jamie, you know, for all of you. But I'm pretty sure you are aware, aware of those. It would be beneficial for the well to stay open access throughout the duration of the proposed construction. Mm, thank you for listening, and I'm sure we can come to a happy medium regarding the Ancaster well. Thank you, and with all respect. This was Carol Henry, Cayuga Nation, Six Nations of the Grand River Territory. And she has another, another letter, support letter, regarding the Ancaster Well four to six week closure. Hi, my name is Keith Henry. I am an elder in the community of Six Nations of the Grand River Reservation. I have resided there my whole life, 70 plus years. I am very concerned about the closure of the well for four to six weeks. The well is my only source of clean drinking water. I have been accessing the well over 20 years now and find it very disheartening that your organization is going to close it for that period of time. I believe you need to keep the well open throughout the duration period of your proposed construction. Closing the well it is causing stress and anxiety to myself and others that utilize this God-given source. My request is to keep the well open throughout this four to six week period. Thank you and God bless you. Keith Henry, Six Nations of the Grand River Band member. And one more letter that I brought. Um, it's regarding the Ancaster well closure. I am writing this letter as a complaint I have about the temporary closure of the Ancaster Wells. Myself and my mother have been freely accessing this watering site for 20 plus years and very much enjoy having access to this spring water. Despite the high sulfur levels stated on the sign, we have no health issues or changes otherwise. We live only 30 minutes away from sulfur springs and this is a main source of our natural drinking water. The temporary closure will surely affect our health and well-being greatly. We use the water for drinking and many other uses in our lives. I see no reason why our public access to our natural drinking water will be temporarily closed. To be frank, four to six weeks is quite a long time to go without our drinking water and we will not resort to store-bought water. What I do see is any large machinery and close contact around the Ancaster wells could potentially pollute the water and then be unsafe to drink afterwards. Thank you for taking the time to consider my complaint. I have hope and pray that there will be a good outcome of the situation. God blessings. Jared Smith, member of the Six Nations Territory. Hey, on, my, on my home and my property on Six Nations where I resided for 50 plus years, I do not have potable water on my property. There's no well, no water lines. Um, so that means no plumbing. And, and that house has been like that for 40 years. And we rely on this source of water for basic needs. We are on the outskirts of the Oshwegan village, so the water lines do not reach our property. So therefore, this well is our only source of clean water. 
for our basic needs and the watering of our animals and plants. I have approached the Six Nations Council employee and have not been, and they mentioned like recently, and they have mentioned they haven't been consulted on this water source matter. They will be discussing it within their next council meeting. As you've heard in the media, our water quality is contaminated on the Six Nations Reserve. I will provide a document from Chief Sherry Lynn Hill regarding more details, which more details here, which I'll give to Jamie to share with you all. <clears throat> Six Nations did apply for the First Nations water settlement all across Canada but was denied for some unknown reason. Out of hundreds of First Nations peoples across Canada, hundreds of First Nations reserves, over a hundred reserves across Canada, our reserve didn't qualify in, in their opinion. And all 25 plus thousand people on our reserve were denied and help, any help with our water situation. And because of that, many families are utilizing the Dundas Valley water source. As stated in the beginning of your meeting, you were aware of the treaty rights with our people. And uh, the Nanfan Treaty of 1701, and I believe, you know, you are well educated about that which is recognized by the Ontario government and the Han Hamilton Conservation Authority. This is, and I'll give this map to uh, Jamie as well. <clears throat> I ask that you respect the relationship that we have built. And it states, and it states in your um, annual report, 2023, that a land acknowledgement statement was developed for HCA um, to create relationships based on respect, trust, and friendship. And by closing this water, that could, by closing this well for the people that need it the most, that could be detrimental for this relationship that we've created throughout all that time. Um, and I and I hope you really consider consider keeping it open because there are many people that need that water, especially us. That's probably why I'm here most fighting about it. Well I'm not fighting, I don't want to fight, but we have a good conversation, right? And um because not having no running water in your home is very hard. We we do what we can. All we can, we still can keep clean, but it's just extra difficult. You know, lugging back 15 to 20 jugs, 16 gallons of jugs to your home, which you use for bathing and feeding your animals and watering your plants, cleaning your home. And that's pretty difficult. And I'm getting up there in years and it's pretty hard and it's weighing on me physically on having to do that. But, uh, and not only with me, but there's many people on the reserve that live without no running water. And we don't have the luxury of it at this moment. And um, I just really hope that you consider, consider these words, these heartfelt words. And I appreciate you listening. And, I, and it seems that you do have a heart, you do care, you care about people. And um, it's just a matter of this decision that you're going to make, if it can be the right one to help bridge this gap of relationship with us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Any questions for the delegate? Again, questions of clarification only. Brian, please. Mr. Chair, just uh, if you don't mind, just a general question, just in terms of process, are, are we going to be able to, to ask uh, HCA staff questions uh, afterwards, after the delegates are finished, uh, 